Okay, in this video we're going to look at a couple of simple examples of Euler's theorem. So uh, let's just recall that the Euler phi function is defined as follows. So it's the number of positive integers between 1 and n that are relatively prime to n. And furthermore, Euler's generalization of Fermat's theorem says that if the GCD of a and n is 1, then a to the phi of n is congruent to 1 mod n. So um, let's see if we can use that to reduce a couple of numbers modulo n given different values of n. So let's first uh, look at the following. 5 to the 12 is congruent to something mod 36. So let's see what it's congruent to mod 36. So we would probably want to start off by calculating phi of 36. So I'll use a formula which we derived in a previous video. So that this, is, this is equal to 36 times 1 minus half times 1 minus third. So it's equal to the original number and then 1 minus the reciprocal of all of the prime factors. So 2 and 3 are the only prime factors in this case. So you can check that this is indeed 12. So what we have here is 5 to the phi of 36 and 5 and 36 are relatively prime. So that gives us this is 1 immediately. Okay, great. Now the next one we want to look at is 3 to the 44 is congruent to something mod 10. Great. So again, we'll probably need to look at phi of 10, and we'll use this same formula. So this will be 10 times 1 minus half times 1 minus 4 fifths. And it's easy to see that this is equal to 4. Great. Now, we probably want to do this in a couple of steps now. So since this is 4, this is 44, so maybe the best strategy here is to write this as 3 to the 4 to the 11. And then we know that 3 to the 4 is congruent to 1 mod 10. So this gives us this is 1 to the 11 mod 10, which is just 1 mod 10. Okay, cool. So let's look at uh, another small example and then we'll look at a bigger example. So let's look at, at 7 to the 30 um, is congruent to something mod 15. Great, so we'll use the fact that phi of 15 is 8. So phi of 15 again is 15 times 1 minus third times 1 minus fifth, which is 8. And now notice 8 does not divide into 30, but we can use the division algorithm to break 30 into parts. So here's what we'll use we'll use 30 equals 24 plus 6. In other words, this is 8 times 3 plus 6. So we use the division algorithm with 30 and 8. Okay, great. So that's going to leave us with 7 to the 8 times 3 plus 6, which is the same thing as 7 cubed to the 8th power times 7 to the 6th mod 15. Great. Now we know that this part is 1, so that means this whole thing is 7 to the 6 mod 15. So what we need to do now is simplify this 7 to the 6. So here's what we can do. We can notice that 7 squared is equal to uh, 49. And let's see, 49 is equal to 4 mod 15. And now if we do uh, 7 to the 6th is the same thing as 7 squared cubed. So what we're left with is 4 cubed. So that means this is equal to 4 cubed mod 15. But now 4 cubed is 64 but 64 is 4 mod 15. So the whole final answer is 4 mod 15. 
Okay, um, so good. I think this is good for this video. Uh, I'll do uh, another example in uh, next video.